Go ahead, you guys. Go ahead, Randy. <coughs> Matt, I mean, the, just talk about the defense tonight. What they did to to take advantage, so much advantage of your defense. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, you tip their hat. I, you know, I, I think the quarterback is is really. I mean, Dylan's as talented as anybody we've played against, and you know, we played against some great quarterbacks here. Um, and some great quarterbacks in this conference, but boy, I, I just feel like <laughs> the veteranness of a guy that's been in this system now for a long time, and really confident with his playmakers, really confident, you know, in the scheme. And he played like an elite quarterback tonight. And their playmakers made some big plays down the field. You know, they certainly got some guys. And, and our precision and detail wasn't great. And you know, when you when you put all that together. You, you kind of get some of the production that you saw tonight. So um, <laughs> you got to remember, there's you look on the field for the Cyclones, and there's a lot of young pups out there. And you know, I, I give our kids a lot of credit. I don't feel like they're. I thought they practiced really well last this past week. But again, you know, playing big in the moment and having to be a lead in the moment. Um, you know, we, we continue to learn a lot about ourselves, and you got to continue to grow forward. But uh, you tip your hat certainly to Dylan, and you certainly tip the hat to some of the playmakers who made some great plays. Yes, a lot of success offensively through that first quarter and then not as much the rest of the way. What did Oklahoma do to slow you down? Yeah, you know, I, again, I, I first of all, I, I think there were some some positives in, in a lot of ways. You know, you, you feel like some guys emerged tonight, which was huge for us offensively. Um, I thought the offensive line maybe played their best game, you know, of the season. And, you know, I, I think the biggest thing, again, you, you look at, at how some of the things happened, you know, a little bit in the second half um, and maybe even at the end of the first half. You can't turn the ball over. You know, we do that twice, you obviously early in the game and then, you know, right before half. And those are killers, especially against an offense like this. Um, and then second, you know, I, I think when you look at the reality of like just the detail and we talked about winning third down and I think early in the game we were really good on third down. And as the game went, you know, we, we didn't help our defense out very much. We didn't help ourselves offensively being able to sustain some drives. So, um, you know, again, you know, we'll look and see why that happened. But, um, you know, again, some mixed reviews on that side of the ball. But I thought some really great things that we can grow on, too, along the way as well. What did you learn? Um, I'm talking about the offensive side of the ball now. The run versus pass situation, pass versus run, however you, however you want to say it, about both aspects of that. Today. Well, I, you know, like I said, you're, you're, man, you're, you're growing up, and you know that's that doesn't happen like that. It happens, you know, one game at a time, one day at a time, and you know, again, you you saw Sama really kind of have some some big opportunities. You saw Eli Sanders and Cartavius, and you know, honestly, even Rocco had as the frustration of obviously the two picks can't happen, but boy, there were some big time plays and some critical moments too, and. And then you're, you're talking, I know I've said this a million times, but it's a, it's a brand new center. It's a brand new left tackle. Uh, man, you're, you're playing with a lot. There's a freshman right guard. And you, you kind of see that group starting to really grow together. you got a freshman tight end. So there, there's a lot of youth across the board on this Iowa State team. And that's not an excuse. It's a reality. And the fact of the matter of it, we weren't as good as we needed to be tonight. But there was some great growth tonight as well. Is that the pass opening the run? Well, I, you know, I, I think in, a, in some way, shape, and form, but I, I think, again, the ability to be multiple, we, we've talked about that a million times here. Mm -hmm. You know, the ability to build multiple, not just have the ability to sit and do one thing. I think that was big. I thought we really mixed and matched in the football game really well early. Um, but, you know, like we said, we you know, some failed third downs in the second half certainly didn't help you. Coach, you guys allowed three or four plays of about 40 yards through the air. That's been a little bit of an issue for you guys throughout the season. Can you explain how you fix that moving forward? Yeah, you know, I, I, I don't I don't per se know if it's a schematical issue as much as it is, man, you gotta make a play on the ball issue. And, you know, I think a couple of those at least tonight, you know, yeah, it was a fifty fifty ball and their guy had the ability to make the play. And so, you know, again it's it's an area for us that we just gotta continue to pound away at. I, I think that's the Man, that's football in general. You got to be able to make plays, you know, in in the moment. And we didn't make enough of them in the moment tonight when we had the opportunity to do it. it seemed like there were fewer substitutions on the offensive line. I know Jake coming back in a few weeks maybe changed that. You like those five guys, what they're able to do? Yeah, you know, I, I at least it'll be it'll be interesting to watch the film, you know, before I just say it. But I, I feel like that group 
it was in the best group that I've seen that group in in a long time. And, you know, again, a lot of improvement. That's as talented as a group as we played, really good veteran front. Um, and so to be able to kind of go toe-to-toe -to -toe with those guys at times tonight, you know, there were some positives certainly from that group for sure. Coach, I was wondering if you guys need to generate more pass rush to make things easier. Boy, we have to. I mean, you got to have the ability to affect the passer. We didn't. It was at times like seven on seven tonight watching. So we got to do a better job of it. We got to continue to find our, our answers. Um, and again, you, you're, you know, we've got guys that got the ability to do it, but we got to play better, and they got to be able to help help that secondary out at times for sure. Coach, you touched on the Oklahoma's defense. Could you talk a little bit more about where they are now versus maybe where you've seen them? Uh, um, yeah, you know, I, I just. I'll, I'll say this, Coach Venables, we know, is a, is a great defensive football coach. I think, again, they, they had some good additions on the defensive front, you know, this year. Um, and, you know, across the board, they're, they're multiple, and they're going to make you work. And, you know, uh, so a lot of respect for what he does and certainly what they do schematically. What you see on the punt block? Yeah. Yeah, we, we, it was an error. It was an error by a right up back. And, you know, we, he was one count off, and, you know, they were late subbing. And I think we, instead of t getting our count right, um, man, I think we kind of panicked and tried to go fast. And so we are just off a count by one of our up backs. So uh, credit to them. But it was kind of a goofy situation. It was a substitution deal. It was late. I wish we would have had a little bit more poise and got our count right. We didn't. What did you see from Rocco? Obviously, opens the game with an interception. How did you see him adjust to the environment throughout the game? Yeah, you know, I, I, you know, what a, if 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 you're humble enough to take what you learned tonight, and and there were some great moments. You know, he throws the pick six, and he comes right back, and goes right down the field. We score a touchdown, make it seven seven. Then it goes fourteen to seven, he comes right back. Man, we make it fourteen fourteen. And so, you know, I, I I thought he really did a great job in the first half in the moment. I don't know how he was in the second half. We're gonna to have to look at it. You know, I think he was a little bit off, and um, you know, these are these are growth opportunities for a young guy like Rocco. But what I do love is the first guy leading on that sideline the entire night was Rocco Beck, and whether he was leading the defense or leading the offense, that guy was the first guy speaking, and that's what leaders do. They lead when it goes really well, and they lead when it doesn't go well. And I appreciate that about Rocco. He'll grow and get better. Um, I've got great faith in Rocco Beck, and really proud of him so far. Coach, on Tuesday. Um John Haycock talked a little bit about how their pace would stress your guys' defense in the first half. I think they ran about 40, 41 plays. Do you feel like that really put um, some stress on your guys' defense? No, I, I think winning on first down stresses our defense, and we didn't do a very good job of that. You know, I, I mean, tempo is tempo and pace is pace, but like the reality of it is, you know, you got to be able to win on first down, and we didn't do a very good job. I, I don't know how many times tonight we got them into second and long. I think when you look at the videotape, when we did, you know, we had successful series as a defense, and when it was second and two, it's really hard to play good defense that way. So, you know, again, you know, going back to how do you how do you play good defense? Man, you got to do a great job on first down. We just didn't do a good enough job tonight. Anything further? Yeah, Matt, you heard them over the middle early in the game. Uh, short and long. Yeah. Was that something you saw and they just shorted up somehow? or? Yeah, you know, I, I think, you know, I, w their adjustment in the second half was to bring more pressure. And you, they, they were able to do that. Um, and, and part of that pressure was through the edges. And, you know, I, I thought their adjustment was really good. You know, I thought our inability at times to handle some of that, especially in the running game in the second half, you know, put us into some second and long situations. So, you know, just to, honestly the same thing I was talking about with our defense. I thought they did that well in the second half. They got us into some second and long situations, and we really did a great job in the first half getting ourselves into some second and short situations to be able to use the entire field. Um, and we didn't do as good a job in the second half for sure. Thank you, Coach. Yeah, thank you guys. Thanks, guys.